Unfortunately, when these things happen, folks, you know, police are not always on the scene and you either need a good guy with a gun or just a brave citizen in the vicinity to to do something about this. Absolutely. And 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 thank goodness for the uh, the school bus driver, because it is New York City Police Department. So their marksmanship is not that great. So you definitely want to, you know, I, my hat goes off to the uh, the bus driver for sure. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, they've released a name of the driver of the truck that killed at least six people in Manhattan today, Seifulu Saipov. Seifulu Saipov was the driver armed. The authorities said that when he jumped out of the pickup truck, he had fake weapons, a paintball gun and a pellet gun. So you have to wonder uh, what those reports of a shooter and gunfire were. While the attack were happening, say, they say he collided with a school bus, which also injured a couple children during that. You wonder if he intentionally uh, collided with the school bus, trying to hurt more children. This was outside of a school. This was by a park. This was by the World Trade Center. Um, obviously, no motive yet from the driver officially. It's being reported that he was shouting Allahu Akbar. And so he shouts Allahu Akbar, mows down a bunch of people. And then Jake Tapper has the nerve to say this on air. Who um, police have now talked to. They're, say, they're telling police that they heard the driver saying, yelling, Alu Akbar, Alu Akbar, during this incident, which is now leading authorities to believe that this is a, as a result, uh, that this is now a terrorism case. And I'm just getting an update now. The FBI is taking over this case because uh, it appears now oh, that this great. is terrorism. The Arabic chant, uh, Allah Akbar, uh, God is great, um, sometimes uh, said under the, mo the most beautiful of circumstances, and, and too often we hear of it being, being said in moments uh, like this. Uh, General Clapper. Um, you were just taken aback by you that. you were director of national intelligence. Jake Tapper says Allahu Akbar said in the most beautiful of circumstances right after a guy screams it and murders multiple people. That, uh, I, I don't have any words for that. You know, Jake Tapper... <laughs> they need to get rid of him. He needs to go. Wow. Uh, you, you, you have Americans being killed on American soil, and this guy saying, you know, you know, trying to say great words, trying to find good words out of, you know, out of something that's actually just awful and miserable and terrible. Seriously, I mean, you want to talk about virtue signaling yourself into mental derangement? That is Jake Tapper. What, what an unsophisticated bum mm. Jake Tapper is. Uh, I'm being told now that it was actually a good Samaritan that used the empty school bus to stop the truck. Wow. Uh, so there's another angle that uh, is worth keeping an eye on because, um, unfortunately, when these things happen, folks, you know, police are not always on the scene, and you either need a good guy with a gun or just a brave citizen in the vicinity to to do something about this. Absolutely, and 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 thank goodness for the, uh, the school bus driver because it is New York City Police Department, so their marksmanship is not that great. So you definitely want to, you know, I, my hat goes off to the... Uh, the bus driver for sure. Uh, so again, they just released the name of the driver and said he shouted Allahu Akbar and Jake Tapper says that's just beautiful. Let's go to a recap here. This is the press conference from today. I'll try not to speak over uh, Cuomo and de Blasio if they speak. I just can't stand those two. Here is the NYPD press conference. Let me be clear that based on the information we have at this moment, this was an act of terror. And a particularly cowardly act of terror aimed at innocent civilians, aimed at people going about their lives who had no idea of what was about to hit them. We, at this moment, based on the information we have, we know of eight innocent people who have lost their lives and over a dozen more injured. All right, so at 3.05 p.m., a male driving a rented Home Depot pickup truck entered the West Side Highway bicycle path at Houston Street, began driving southbound, striking a number of pedestrians and bicyclists along the route. At Chambers Street, the truck collided with a school bus, injuring two adults and two children. After the collision, the driver of the truck, a 29-year-old male, exited the vehicle brandishing two handguns. A uniformed police officer assigned to the first precinct Apparently fake guns, confronted though. the fake subject guns. and shot him in the abdomen, 
The subject was wounded and transported to a local hospital. A paintball gun and a pellet gun were recovered at the scene. The subject's identity is not being released at this time, pending further investigation. At this point, there are eight fatalities reported in connection with this incident. In addition, several people have been injured. Right there. Yes, uh, can you confirm that the suspect said Al Akbar or anything to that effect? And if so, is that the only indication that this may be an act of terrorism? Or you, what else is it that leads you to label? Yeah, he did, he did make a statement when he exited the vehicle. And if you just look at the MO of the attack, uh, that, that's consistent with uh, what's been going on. So that, wow. that along with the statement, has uh, enabled us to label this a terrorist event. We, we really need to do something about these no gun zones. Uh, New York City is the worst, you know, of them all. We need to do something where we we allow uh, citizens of this country to actually protect themselves and also protect their families and and be able to carry a gun everywhere. There's no reason why we should not be able to carry. Well, we can stop things like this. Uh, you know, if this something like this happened in Israel, you would have. People that <laughs> we have school teachers in yeah. Israel that that actually they've all carry, been trained exactly. So we definitely need to do something about this and get rid of these no gun zones. And New York City is the absolutely worst when it comes to that. Again, the driver Seifulu Saipov is from Uzbekistan. I'm being told and immigrated here in 2010. Uh, I don't believe Uzbekistan was not on any travel ban list. Uh, but it was interesting to see what type of radicalization he had, uh, if this was homegrown, internet motivated, or what have you, uh, organically just grew to hate America. Maybe he watches Jake Tapper on CNN every day. I'm not sure. Uh, but shocking to me at the end of that press conference, Michael, the I believe that was a com police commissioner there saying that he said Allahu Akbar – and that this attack mimics similar terror attacks that we've seen in London and others across the, the globe. And then you had Democrat de Blasio and Democrat Cuomo shaking their head like, yep, this is what radical Islamic terrorists do. Yep, yep, yep. Yet they don't have a policy that addresses that issue, even though there they are admitting it. Absolutely. Uh, and, and now what they're doing is they must have some other intel they're not telling us. Because now they're using trucks to block intersections because... Tonight's Halloween. That's right. And you have the kids out there trick-or-treating, and so they're blocking intersections to make sure that something else does not happen. So they have some other type of intel they're not telling us about. So you definitely want to make sure that if you're out there trick-or-treating with the kids, Ooh, man. you definitely want to carry your gun. Yeah. Was this was this something? What was that, guys? We're about to... Yeah, there's going to be Halloween parades and everything. It's Halloween. You wonder if the... Uh, the, the, the the truck man, if you will, thought he would pull this off on Halloween to scare people out of going Halloween, or is this part of perhaps more attacks that were planned for tonight? Let's just hope that's not the case. Uh, wow, what a show. All kinds of breaking news, folks. And we'll see what the story is at the end of the day on this Seifulu Saipov from Uzbekistan. You stay classy, Info Warriors. <laughs> If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Is that a fact that George Soros is financing a global, and I'm not going to call it conspiracy, but a global effort to discredit and delegitimize Donald Trump? This is George Soros in action? This is a man who has put up billions into the electoral process, but he's funding the most radical organizations which are anti-Trump. It's called megalomania, and the old evil Nazi collaborator, George Soros, knows mainstream media is totally discredited. That's why in 1998, 60 Minutes had him on. He bragged and said, I'm not ashamed to be a Nazi. I did what I had to do to survive. My understanding is, is that you went out with this protector of yours. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property from the Jews. That's right. Yes. Was it difficult? Uh, not, not, not at all. Not at all. Uh, maybe as a child, you don't you don't see the connection, uh, uh, but it was it created no no problem at all. No feeling of guilt. No. In fact, it was free market. I filled a niche. I'm proud of it. In 2017, he has 
his minion get up there from the CIA, Anderson Cooper, and say it never happened. Alex Jones made it up, despite the fact we have the clip. That shows how weak they are. They know they're exposed. So just tell bigger lies. Talk about Hitler and the big lie theory. And so that's why it's a revolutionary act to financially support this broadcast. And we've got specials that are ending in the next few days. 50% off Brain Force, just the known, highest quality, healthy, organic compounds for healthy, uh, your more active, focused brain. 20% now and more in each bottle. We're doing 50% off, not because it's not selling. We sold so much of it. It's got so popular that I ordered the biggest order ever of it. So I could do it 50% off to see if my free market idea would work to sell even more at lower prices, make you even happier, and fund ourselves to expand. A win-win. It's worked. I thought we had a two-month supply. It'll be sold out in a couple of weeks at this rate. So I've got to end the special in the next few days and then put it back to regular price until more comes in. That is going to end in the next few days. Secret 12, 40% off about to end. Survival Shield X2, 40% off about to end. BioTrue Selenium for mustard seeds, strong, strong formulation, 40% off. The new specials, it'll continue for a week or more. Anthroplex, or until they sell out, 50% off. That's the dry form of Supermel Vitality. And Supermel Vitality, 30% off. Highest quality known organic, high quality herbs, ladies and gentlemen, that have passed the strict, almost impossible California standards until we know someday what we've talked about, we know they're going to do. But the point is, ladies and gentlemen, it's all available at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or 888-253-3139. As everyone now knows, the globalists are trying to shut down free speech worldwide, and they see InfoWars as the tip of the spear. George Soros groups are coming after us. They're suing us. They're lying about us. They're attacking us because they know we're not Nazi collaborators, scumbags like they are. They know we're telling the truth, and they know politically we are kicking their asses. Now more than ever, spread links to articles and videos and information at NewsWars.com and InfoWars.com. And support us financially, getting high-quality products so we can stand against the billionaire globalists that think America is a bunch of slaves that they control. I'm Alex Jones, and we've proven we can resist these criminals as long as you support us. So please fund our operation at InfoWarsStore.com and spread the links. It's a revolutionary act against these scumbags.